digital twins and data requirements. Exploiting the power of data for greener last mile logistics. Leeds' ambition is to empower collaborating city logistic communities with a ready-to-use digital twin capability, using data-driven simulation to understand market change needs, work out best response strategies, and monitor the impact of new solutions. The introducing of digital twins in last-mile logistics can improve the operation and efficiency of parcel delivery, reduce the environmental impact, and support advanced decision-making through the entire logistics lifecycle. In Lead Living Labs, digital twins have been developed to model the current and future behavior of local scenarios in a variety of conditions and configurations, anticipate failures, and suggest optimal schedules for operation. A digital twin can evolve with the city if relevant data from a variety of sources are made available. In this case, digital twins and their physical counterparts can work together optimally, since changes within the real world can be embedded in the virtual models through a dynamic sensing response loop. In the LEAD project, we developed a platform that can support and automate the execution of a sequence of models. These models have been developed with different tools and have been integrated to the platform's model library. The models use data assets relevant to the scenario we are exploring. The simulations engine help us compare and evaluate the simulation results in a user-friendly environment, providing results to both modelers and decision makers. The platform and its functionality is presented in more detail in Unit 5 of this course. Here we focus on the data that the platform can handle and that are needed for the execution of the simulation scenarios. Historical data are used for model testing, model calibration, and what-if scenarios simulation execution. Real-time data streams can support the instant simulation execution and calculation of indicators. Therefore, the platform facilitates both proactive and instant decision-making if the right datasets are available. Input data can be files, numerical data, Boolean and string data. Here is an example of a model that uses as input weather information and fleet specifications and provides as output emissions values including carbon dioxide. Thank you for your attention. Learn more about the platform in Unit 5.